Hello, and welcome to Fortress Alaska. Today, we are taking a visit to the Military Aviation Museum near Virginia Beach in Virginia. Now, I recently went to Virginia, and while I was there, I took time to visit the Military Aviation Museum. It is well worth the visit if you are anywhere in the area. You can get through the museum quickly, you know, if you in a rush, in probably two hours, but you can also spend most of your day there. There's a lot to look at. It's packed in tight. Uh, they have quite a few aircraft that are actually operational. I believe they had about 40 World War II aircraft that could still fly. So they have the largest collection in the world of flying World War II aircraft. Note the word flying. Um, so these are actually still flying aircraft that you get to walk around and look at. Uh, they are packed tight in a hangar, and you do have to wiggle your way back and forth through them, but it's well worth the effort. Now, the museum is broken up such that there is a World War II air area. There's a hangar for various World War II planes. There's a separate hangar for Navy planes. Uh, and then there's just a mu little museum part. And then you go down the road a bit. You can either drive or walk down. And then there is a World War I hangar with all types of World War I aircraft, some of which can still fly. And then there's a German aircraft area, another hangar, with various aircraft from Germany during World War II. One of the really interesting things is the hangar the German aircraft are in is actually a real World War II German aircraft hangar. They had it disassembled, shipped to the United States, to Virginia, and reassembled there. It's not the entire hangar. I guess some of it was destroyed during World War II, but a good chunk of it. Uh, so that's there. And they have a World War II control tower from Great Britain also located there, which you get to tour when you go through uh, the museum. There's a minor fee to get in, but it's well worth it. I forgot the fee was. It was trivial. Um, so if you ever get there, please take time and visit the Military Aviation Museum. So sit back, relax. This is just a series of pictures showing you what I saw when I was there, so you know what you can expect to see when you go to see the museum.
I hope you enjoyed seeing all those beautiful old aircraft. Uh, truly amazing that some of them still fly. Uh, I'm not so sure I'd get in any of those World War, World War I aircraft. For those of you, of you who do not know, most World War I aircrafts were built out of wood, and the skin on them is actually fabric with a doping compound in order to make the fabric stiff. Uh, that is not sheet metal. There's no steel on those planes. Uh, very, I shouldn't say there's no steel. Though the covering is almost always fabric. Um, the planes are mostly built out of wood with some metal spars, maybe. Uh, even the propellers are mostly wood. So it is a totally different thing. And uh, I think just flying in those planes took a lot of bravery, let alone to go in combat with them. So, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a good day and get out shooting.